Roundabouts are becoming more common across the country every year. These intersections move traffic around a raised, circular island. They are designed to maximize safety for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians alike by slowing traffic and preventing high-risk crashes, including head-on and T-bone crashes, and with less delay than typical traffic lights. Roundabouts can be single lane or multi-lane. There are several important things to remember in order to successfully navigate any roundabout. The first and most important thing to remember is slow down. Roundabouts are designed for an average traffic speed of just 20 miles per hour or less. Taking a slow in a roundabout will also give you plenty of time to make the appropriate navigational decisions. The next thing to remember is to yield. Roundabouts rely on the yield principle to facilitate traffic flow. Yield signs caution drivers to slow down and stop for vehicles already in the roundabout. Remember to yield to all lanes of traffic within the roundabout and always assume that they will cross your intended path. Assuming a driver will turn can cause accidents that can be easily avoided. Most roundabouts have crosswalks on the approaches and exits. Always stop for pedestrians or bicyclists within the crosswalks. With those two key concepts in mind, it's time to navigate a multi-lane roundabout. Most roundabouts can easily be recognized by the yellow advance warning sign. The sign alerts drivers that they are approaching a roundabout. As with any intersection, drivers need to choose the appropriate lane as they approach the roundabout. Signs and pavement markings are designed to help drivers make the appropriate choice. Choose your lane the same way you would at a traditional intersection based on which way you're going turning right, turning left, going straight, or even completing a U-turn. So let's look at the choices. First, the right lane. If you need to make a right turn, keep to the right as you approach the roundabout. If you need to make a left turn or a U-turn, keep to the left as you approach the roundabout. Want to continue on in the same direction you are already traveling? Pay attention to the signs to determine if the left lane, right lane, or both will allow you to go straight through. Let's look at that again. Keep to the right for a right turn or possibly to continue traveling in the same direction. Keep to the left for a left turn, U-turn, or to possibly continue traveling in the same direction. Some multi-lane roundabouts have other lane configurations for lane use, so pay attention to what the signs and striping indicate are the allowable movements from each lane. Remember, Signs and pavement markings are there to help you determine which lane is the correct lane to get you where you want to go. After selecting the appropriate lane, slow down and prepare to enter the roundabout. Once you've chosen your lane and are approaching the roundabout, look for and stop for any pedestrians or bicyclists as you would at any intersection. Next, look for cars already in the roundabout. With multi-lane roundabouts, it is important to stop for vehicles in all lanes of traffic. Wait until there is a gap in all lanes of traffic and then enter slowly. Never try to enter alongside cross traffic or assume any driver's intended path. One of the most common mistakes people make when entering a roundabout is failing to yield to all lanes of traffic. Yield doesn't mean just slow down or merge. Yield means that you must wait until all traffic in the roundabout has cleared before proceeding. And make sure that no one is in either lane of the roundabout and then proceed. Once you've entered the roundabout, stay in your lane. Do not switch lanes or try to pass other vehicles. Passing vehicles or switching lanes is unsafe. That is why it is important to choose the appropriate lane for your destination before entering the roundabout. Do not stop unnecessarily in the roundabout. After entering the roundabout, you have the right of way over entering vehicles. Continue through until the appropriate exit point, stopping only for pedestrians and bicyclists. If an emergency vehicle enters the roundabout, drivers who are already in the roundabout should continue through until their exit. Once you've exited, pull to the side of the road in a safe location and let any emergency vehicles pass by before proceeding. Do not block the path of emergency vehicles. If you are approaching a roundabout and an emergency vehicle is coming, the safest option may be to go through the roundabout before finding a place to pull over and let the emergency vehicles pass. For increased safety, do not drive next to large trucks, 
semis, or oversized vehicles of any kind in a roundabout. These vehicles straddle both lanes in order to make it into and through the roundabout. A common feature of a roundabout is a truck apron. This section of concrete around the central island is an expanded space for large vehicles. This extra space for the back wheels of oversized vehicles helps those vehicles easily complete the roundabout turn. Navigating a multi-lane roundabout is easy if you remember the following tips. Choose the appropriate lane before entering the roundabout. Slow down. Stop for any pedestrians as you are approaching and exiting the roundabout. Stop for all vehicles already in the roundabout. Don't stop unnecessarily, switch lanes, or try to pass other vehicles in the roundabout. 